On the last episode of Elf... The Dudley. I think I'd rather sit next to Jake. Dudley. This guy that I used to take a bath with when oh. I was really little. Ah, ah, ah. I smuggled you some dessert. Oh, goody, 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 goody! <laughs> what is it? Guess. Rubber vomit. <laughs> Pumpkin jello. I have to get back to the Akmonics. While Uncle Rocky is carving the turkey, Mr. and Mrs. Akmonic are going to be singing Das Cornucopia from Wagner Strauss's Der Feaster Famine. It's an Akmonic tradition. Well, thanks for the warning. I'll watch for breaking glass. Uh, thanks, Alfred. Happy Thanksgiving, Alien Task Force, Sergeant Fox speaking. Hello. I think I've just seen an alien. What do I do? There's uh, no need to pretend. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm sure you're not going to hurt me. <laughs> oh, it's OK. I'm friendly. So are you. <laughs> Look, I know you can talk. I heard you. <laughs> Max, I'm a friend of Willie's. You're that bum who's been hanging around our trash cans. Hey, huh. bums have friends? How do you know Willie? I was talking to him just a, a, a minute ago. Uh -uh. Look, this tall, glasses, social worker. That's Willie. Yeah, well, he's the one who told me to... Come in here and keep company. Willie told you about me? Uh, well, not specifically which planet you're from, but uh, I figure it's a cold planet because of your fur. Your feet are suited to a muddy terrain, They're probably reddish brown, so that you'd uh, blend in. Your large ears suggest the uh, thin atmosphere that doesn't transmit sound waves very well, and the big nose indicates a scarcity of oxygen. Hey! Watch the wisecracks about the schnoz! Oh, uh, uh, sorry. No offense uh, intended. It's a lovely schnoz. Thank you. Yours is nice, too. Hey, uh, let's see. I'd, uh, I'd guess you're from planet K-171. K-171? Oh, you mean Niesbeck? Huh, there's no intelligent life on Niesbeck. How do you know? I've been there. Their national bird is dust. Well, then what planet are you from? Melmac. But don't spread it around, OK? You can trust me. Good. You have any idea what would happen if people found out about me? I can't imagine. 
Have you ever heard of the Alien Task Force? Alien Task Force? No, I don't believe I have. What do they do? Well, they hunt down innocent aliens and do bad, bad things to them. How do you know? Interstellar grapevine. Das ist weg. Und ganz wenig auch nicht. Das Wetter ist stuftig gewesen, Frau Nauheim. Es sind scheiße bigger Jahre vor ein paar gewesen. Aber muss ich mal sein, Entschuldigung, oder es mir ist ein Tag. Salient thing, right? By the way, name's Alf. Hi, Alf. Name's Pete Finnegan. Uh, Pete. What? Your coat is ringing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Willie said I, I could uh, borrow the phone. Uh, hello? Finnegan, Sergeant Fox. Did you make contact with the alien? Oh, hi. Mom, uh, nice of you to call. Everything's fine here. Good. We're mobile. We'll be there ASAP. Well, and a uh, happy Thanksgiving to you, too, Mom. Can it hear you now? Yes. My friends are right here, and they're terrific. So friendly. <laughs> it may act friendly, but it could be deadly. I just hope we can take it alive. Oh, I don't think it'll be necessary to kill it. <laughs> that turkey's been our pet for years, Mom. That's our call, Mr. Finnegan. You just keep it occupied until we get there. <clears throat> What's his name? Who? Your turkey. Sergeant Fox. Oh, he has a certain military bearing. There's plenty of water. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, my God. I'm so hungry, I could faint. Dog biscuits? They're good. Take three. Nice shot, Jason. Martin and I believe that it's important to encourage a child to develop athletically as well as intellectually. Off to a good start. <laughs> Excellent squash, incidentally. <laughs>
to get an answering machine in your pants. Uh, hello? Finnegan, we're about 30 minutes away. 30 minutes? Gee, uh, Mom? You ought to let that simmer for at least uh, 45. What did you find out? Is it armed? Is it dangerous? Weapons, war, fighting, is that all you ever think about? Lighten up, Mom. Okay, when we're ready to move in, we'll call and let your phone ring once. You got that? Just one ring. That'll be your signal to vacate the premises. We'll take it from there. How's Mom? <laughs> Getting on my nerves. Yeah. Have you seen a peanut butter? Who's that? Oh, this is my new friend, Pete Finnegan. Flaky, this is Brian Tanner and Jake Ockmonic. You call him Flaky? <laughs> Let he who is without flakiness cast the first stone. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Alf, you're not supposed to let strangers in the house. Relax, Brian. The Flakemeister's not gonna tell anyone I'm an alien. He's a friend of Willie's. Oh, yeah? You know Mr. Tanner? Oh, yeah, sure, very well. Matter of fact, this is his sweater. <laughs> what happened to your Thanksgiving dinner? Uncle Rocky's still carving it. Come on, Brian, let's go spoil our appetites. Nice to meet you both. Yeah, likewise. The turkey is delicious, Raquel. I'm perfectly sliced. <laughs> the turkey is an aphrodisiac. How is everything over there? Well, they're okay, I guess. They? Alf and that Flaky Pete guy. Flaky Pete the bum? The homeless person? Hey, he's over at your house with Alf. He said he was a friend of yours. We've had a lovely time, Rico. <laughs> yes. Absolutely lovely. Come on, kids. Oh, hi, Willie. Where is he? Ooh, you know the little alien guy? If anything, anything has happened to him, you're gonna be... Hey, Willie. Alf. Willie. Alf. <laughs> Willie. Alf. Willie. Alf. Willie. Alf. Willie. We were worried sick about you. Really? Were you throwing up and everything? No, but we're very relieved you're all right. Willie, get your camera. We want to preserve this moment of caring. <laughs> Never mind about my camera. What are you doing in the house with a stranger? Chatting, snacking, swapping war stories. Alf, this is dangerous. How much does he know about you? Why would you let him in here? He's your friend, and any friend of yours He's is... He's not my friend. You two have a tiff? <laughs> Alf, haven't I told you this? Never, never... Oh, lighten up, Willie. It's Fapiano. <laughs> Besides, aren't you always telling me that under the skin, or in my case, fur, or in Pete's case, a ratty overcoat, <laughs> we're all pretty much the same. A little needy, a little insecure, but decent and good. Listen, Alf is stranded here. He doesn't have any place else to go. I, I know he looks like an alien to you, but he is a member of our family. We've got to protect him. We can't let anything happen to him. Do you understand? Yeah, I do. Could you stay and have a little supper with us? It may not be much. In fact, I can guarantee it won't be much, but you're welcome. Well, thank you, but I, I really think I ought to go. Oh, please, 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 please. We've got cold meatloaf 
and rubber vomit. Good news, there's turkey after all. Well, uh, turkey franks. Oh, well, maybe I could stay for a minute. Please. Hey, now, flakeyonomy, isn't this what it's all about? Good food and good friends? Well, good friends anyway. I'm gonna be in a Thanksgiving play at Wall's Park tomorrow. You can come if you want. Oh, gee, I think I'll probably be busy tomorrow. Wish you could see my play, Elf. Me too, Brighton Beach. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We have a little surprise for you guys. Yeah. Let me guess. A basket of imported calicos. <laughs> no, it's an empty picnic basket. An empty picnic basket? What good is that? It's especially designed to enable you to view Brian's play without being seen. It was my idea. Give credit where credit is due. <laughs> oh, you guys are the greatest. We'll go over your lines after dinner. I don't want to be embarrassed in front of the other parents. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? They must have hung up. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd better go wash my hands. Don't be long. These turkey franks will be ready in exactly 40 seconds. <laughs> Bright, let's sing the Thanksgiving hymn. We get Together to ask the Lord's blessing. Each hastens his will to make known. How wicked oppressing. Well, <coughs> ready to go. What's the setup? Is he inside? What? Is, is who inside? The alien. I'm the alien. What? Yep. Yeah. 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 You yeah. caught me. I'm from outer space. <laughs> Knees back, to be exact. Well, thank you guys for coming on such short notice. I really appreciate it. You know, a bowl of mercury I can drink. <laughs> I don't believe this. Another bum looking for a hot meal. We missed the end of the game. For this. Forget it, pal. We've got your name in our database. Don't ever call us again. Out. 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 Yeah. I can prove it from these back. Our national bird is dust. <laughs> Outdoors, how can we survive in this wilderness? Yo, Pilgrim. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's ruined my feather duster. My best belt. <laughs> Who are you? Squanto the Indian, the last of the Patuxent. You speak English? Many moons ago, I was captured by the white man and taken across the great waters to the old world, but I missed my people. How did you get back here? I rented a car. Ow. I took a cab. Ow. I don't remember. What's important is that I'm here. We are so different from you. Uh, do not be embarrassed because your skin is a funny color and you wear stupid clothes. <laughs> the great spirit says, that we are all brothers under the skin. And come the next full moon, we will celebrate the bountiful harvest together. And so it came to pass there was a bountiful harvest and reason for giving thanks. And someday there'll be college football and department stores and a parade with a giant inflatable underdog. Oh, 
that's not your cue. In 1620, a hardy band of pilgrims came to America in search of religious freedom and boundless opportunity. Since then, millions have come here for the same reasons from all over the world. And one from Melmac who crashed into a garage. Well, now if you need anything, you got my card. Oh, thanks, but I'll be fine. Are you sure you can't stay? Oh, thanks, Alfred. No, I usually spend this time of year in Florida. There are lots of rich widows with loose change and full of the holiday spirit. <laughs> Good <laughs> goodbye, please. Bye, Willie. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye, bye. Cornflake. Bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye Alfred. <laughs> and thanks. Gee, I hope he keeps in touch. Yeah. I'm sure he will. He took our phone. <laughs>